Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like share and subscribe. The Grumman J2F Duck, company designation G15, is an American single-engine amphibious biplane. It was used by each major branch of the U.S. Armed Forces from the mid-1930s until just after World War II primarily for utility and air sea rescue duties. It was also used by the Argentine Navy, who took delivery of their first example in 1937. After the war, J-2F ducks saw service with independent civilian operators, as well as the armed forces of Colombia and Mexico. The J-2F was an improved version of the earlier JF duck, the main differences being a longer float and a more powerful engine. 900 horsepower versus 775. The J2F1 duck first flew on the 2nd of April 1936, powered by a 750 horsepower, 559 kilowatts, right R1820 cyclone, and was delivered to the U.S. Navy on the same day. The J2F2 had an operated right cyclone engine of 790 horsepower. 589 kilowatts. 20 J2F3 variants were built in 1939 for use by the Navy as executive transports with plush interiors. Due to pressure of work following the United States entry into the war in 1941, production of the J2F duck was transferred to the Columbia Aircraft Corporation of New York. They produced 330 aircraft for the Navy and U.S. Coast Guard. If standard Navy nomenclature practice had been followed, these would have been designated JL1s, but it was not, and all Columbia produced airframes were delivered as J2F6S. Several surplus Navy ducks were converted for use by the United States Air Force in the air sea rescue role as the OA 12 in 1948. The J 2F was an equal span single bay biplane with a large monocoque central float, which also housed the retractable main landing gear, a similar design to the Leroy Grumman designed landing gear first used for Grover Lenning's early amphibious biplane designs and later adopted for the Grumman FF fighter biplane. The aircraft had strut-mounted stabilizer floats beneath each lower wing. A crew of two or three were carried in tandem cockpits, forward for the pilot and rear for an observer with room for a radio operator if required. It had a cabin in the fuselage for two passengers or a stretcher. The duck's main pontoon was blended into the fuselage making it almost a flying boat despite its similarity to a conventional land plane which has been float equipped. This configuration was shared with the earlier Lenning OL, Grumman having acquired the rights to Lenning's hull, float, and undercarriage designs, like the F4F Wildcat. Its narrow track landing gear was hand cranked. The J2F was used by the U.S. Navy, Marines, Army Air Forces, and Coast Guard. Apart from general utility and light transport duties, its missions included mapping, scouting, observation, anti-submarine patrol, air-sea rescue work, photographic surveys, reconnaissance, and target tug. J-2Fs of the utility squadron of U.S. Patrol Wing 10 were destroyed at Marivalli's Naval Section Base, Philippines. By a Japanese air raid on 5 January 1942, the only duck to survive the attack had a dead engine but had been concealed at Cab Cabin Airfield during the Battle of Badan, to be repaired afterwards with a cylinder removed from a destroyed J-2F-4 submerged in Manila Bay. Following repairs the J-2F-4 departed after midnight on 9 April 1942, overloaded with five passengers and the pilot becoming the last aircraft to depart from Bhutan before the surrender of Bhutan to the Japanese only hours later. Among its passengers was Carlos P. Romulo, diplomat, politician, soldier, journalist, and author, who recounted the flight in his 1942 best-selling book I Saw the Fall of the Philippines, for which he received the Pulitzer Prize for correspondence. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.